Wow, that's a lot of gunk. And it sure doesn't look happy. I wish I had a mask. Okay, let's do this.
What's so bad about wilderness? Everything all right, Ronnie? It will be. We just have to let everyone out of here. Roger. Taking the bunny down. be able to launch one last time. You're like the most resourceful person I know. We've got this. <laughs> All right. Let's get to work. So, now what? Now, I'm erasing all the location data from our logs. If the big corpse come here, this place is screwed. There's gonna be a whole lot of questions to answer about where we've been. No doubt. But it won't be the first time we've lied to the authorities. We'll cook something up. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? A phantom quantum bolt. Erase the ship's data. And we only managed to recreate everything except for the location blocks. What the hell is a phantom quantum bolt? I don't know, but it sounds cool. Okay, okay, uh, we were loading titanium ore on Celeb Luna, but the ice was too thick and the cold destroyed all the hard drive. Would work if Celeb Luna wasn't owned by Cella Enterprise Inc. Damn it, they're everywhere. How about one of these, then? We, we, we lost our cargo in a meteor belt and had to sell all detachable tech to make it back home. No? Okay. Uh, we got stranded on the uninhabited side of Mars, and a terrible sandstorm destroyed our drives. Uh, we got poisoned, and the substance decreased our intelligence by 50%. And thus, we can't be held responsible for our actions. Plausible. If they examined our brains, they'd find you actually have less brain cells than most people. Oh, but they'd find my brain is still above average. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I give up. Why don't you come up with something? All right. You talked me into landing on a shitty dead space rock. Then you roamed the wasteland for days in search of who knows what. We ran out of fuel. And I stripped the ship of everything that would burn excessive energy, including all loose tech. Eh? I then navigated us home using an old star map. And you have now promised to write poems praising my greatness, one every day, for the rest of your life. Hey, not too bad. Except the part about the one poem a day. I mean, no one would believe I pledged that kind of commitment. Good point. Maybe we should just pretend to have severe memory loss. Last thing we remember is a green fog filling up the cabin, and after that, nothing. How does that explain the erased logs? The fog 
made them evaporate? Oh, it's going to be a long trip home, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs>